Hey guys, Kevin Mulder with Live Car Shows. We're out in Fraser Park, California for the Ridge Route Run Car Show, and it's hosted by the Fraser Mountain Car Club, and they're taking donations to help feed the hungry. Let's go look at some cars. Well, you're going to recognize my next interview. It's Gary Gulse because Gary invited us down to 10 4 Day on Hollywood Boulevard. We had the best time, but we were so busy that day, we didn't get to talk about his Highway Patrol car. He's got an original Highway Patrol Buick. Gary, tell me about this car. It's the uh, replica of the one Broderick drove in the TV series from 55 to 59. And probably of all the cars that he drove, the 55 Buick was the one that everyone remembers him by. In fact, you know, they say the Buicks and Broderick, they kind of look alike. <laughs> Big and bulky. <laughs> exactly. But that's great. Now, this was, was like in the opening sequences of the titles. Right, this right. They have, the two, they have the cars at the roadblock on right. the highway out in the San Fernando Valley. Right, and right. then the uh, narrator comes comes in and I'll play you the music in a few seconds, but he says, whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. And he goes well, on. Highway Patrol, right. <laughs> well, tell me about your Buick. It wasn't like this when you got it. You no, had it to put it all together. Three, it was a regular three-tone Buick, but you know, I, I was such a uh, hardcore Highway Patrol fan when I was a kid. You know, first I thought just getting the Buick would be enough to satisfy my uh, desire to have one like Broderick. But, you know, sure enough, I started driving it for a few weeks and I said, you know, it's got to be black and white. It's got to look just like his car. <laughs> Next thing you know, I met some other folks, uh, particularly my friend Les Randolph out in Riverside. That's probably the consummate Buick guy. He had one like this that's now at the Peterson. And he told me all the things he could do to make it look like the real one. Next thing you know, I'm writing checks and I'm getting it done. <laughs> <laughs> well, how hard was it to find the special parts for this car? Yeah, you know, it probably is a lot more difficult if you don't have somebody like my friend Les. I gotcha. I gotcha. Les, Les. I mean, he he can go to his cabinet and pull out 55 Buick parts like they like he's doing the business back in the 50s. Well, it's unbelievable. And look at the spotlights have Buick on them. These are all no, actually, Buick. That was a recent addition. Oh, really? The spot, yeah, I found those on eBay. I paid like eighty dollars for those, and I added those. Just, I like the touch. I like that. That's a new addition this year. Well, what are some of the interior features you put in this car? Well, if you look at the car, uh, I have uh, a tremendous audio system with uh, an outdoor amplifier and an, in, in, and an inside amplifier. And I have both speakers in the front of the car, and I have uh, full, uh, uh, like, uh, one-foot speakers in the back. And the, the, fender, the fenders of the car are speakers. <laughs> I mean, this thing puts out some sounds. Well, that's because you drive this car. You get out to the shows. You enjoy that's showing true. this car. Well, I, I've taken it across Route 66. Oh, the really? entire route with with Broderick's son, who you met at right, Ten Four did. We did. Yeah, Kelly and I took it all the way from Chicago to Santa Monica in 2001. Well, that's really good. Well, I want to thank you for talking to us on live car shows. And why don't you sign us out, Highway Patrol style? All right. Remember, the reckless driver isn't driving his car; he's aiming it. Be sure to see Highway Patrol next week. In the meantime, leave your blood at the Red Cross, not on the highway. Ten Four. All right. Thanks, Gary. Always good seeing you, man. <laughs> Take it easy.